Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the show. Uh, I got a great question uh, for today's show, and uh, we'll just get straight into it. So I got this question from a basketball coach. I've gotten a lot of uh, text recently from basketball coaches that do camps and clinics. And uh, before I say this question, if you're a coach doing any sort of camps and clinics, uh, send me a text. I have a great program for you uh, if you're looking to sell out future camps and clinics that you run. Uh, I've had a lot of coaches who've already gone through this program, um, and I'd love to send it to you so you can check it out. Now, with that being said, this coach messaged me. He said, hey, I've been running a lot of clinics over the past couple of months. My clinics have been going great, which is awesome. I'm happy to hear that. And he said, the last clinic that I ran, there were three people who didn't show up, and they all asked for a refund. Uh, I haven't run into this problem yet. What should I do? Now, because this coach texted me, uh, I was able to gather more information. I asked him to send me over his website, send me over uh, his payment page. Um, and I saw on there that he did not have any terms, right? So if you run a clinic and you're not clear with how you do business, and someone doesn't show up to your clinic, which is very likely. Like if you run a clinic and there's 20 people supposed to come, I expect there's going to be at least one or two people who don't show up. That's, that's normal. It, you're not going to get a hundred percent of everyone to show up every time. Um, and so with that being said, you need to have a clear policy in place that protects you. If someone does not show up now, there's multiple ways to do this. Um, you can set it up to where you're very loose and you don't say what your expectations are and then you run into problems like what we're talking about or you make it very clear on your website. And what I recommend is that if you use SamCart, which is my recommended uh, software that I use, if you want a free trial of that, go to buildmysportsbiz.com, click on recommended resources. You can get a free trial there. If you use SamCart, I would have a video at the top of your uh, checkout page. And on that video, you clearly talk about your expectations, your terms. And then when people sign up, when they enroll for the clinic, they agree to your terms and conditions on the checkout page. That protects you. This way, if someone's like, yeah, I want a refund, we're not able to come. Well, if they agree to your terms, you take a screenshot of your terms, you send it back to them, and that quiets the conversation. And I see a lot of people, though, they'll run these clinics, and they'll get a lot of people who will send in emails the day before, hey, we can't make it tomorrow. Can we use this as a credit towards a future clinic? And this is the thing. Most coaches in this industry are way, way too soft, way too soft. And I used to be a little softy snowflake too, right? And I can tell you just from experience being in this industry, your business becomes so much better and you train really committed clients when you have high expectations and when you have terms in place. If you don't have terms in place, you're shooting yourself in your foot and that's on you, right? Because any parent at that point for any reason, they could say, hey, we want a refund. Or they forgot about your clinic and they text you after that Johnny was sick. Like parents lie all the time about excuses, right? So if you protect yourself, it doesn't matter if they show up or not. Like once they register, they register. All sales should be final at that point, right? But you get to decide if you want to run your business that way or not. And I will tell you, running it that way at the beginning might feel hard because it's going to be outside of your comfort zone to uh, run your business and like to that degree. But what's going to be better for you long term doing it that way or doing, you know, running your business loose where your clients dictate your terms and your clients say, Hey, I want a refund. I'm going to get a refund right now. Or, Hey, we're not going to be able to make it. So give us your credit towards the next clinic. That's where, you know, I can only try to, to, to encourage you what to do, you're going to have to be the one who follows through at the end of the day. That's it for today's uh, podcast. Hopefully this helps and uh, see you later.